1990. This is your girl, Erica B. Airbrush Designer. Uh, many of you knew me as Erica Bryant, you know, said coming out of high school. So I was given the name Erica B. a little bit later after that because I started this cool art business into airbrushing. So I just want to come on and tell you how grateful I am that you guys have selected me to be your t-shirt designer for this year's Woodland Alumni Week to represent the class of 90. I definitely want to share a very cool testimony with you that I think will bless you. Um, two years out of Woodland, walking out of those doors, being a Woodland graduate of class of 90, I started this art business. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know what I was going to do exactly when we left Woodland. But then by 1993, three years out of walking out of those doors, I went back to visit some of our old high school teachers. One of the teachers that I visited was Miss Dewey, um, because Miss Dewey was my instructor for the class called DECA. I was introduced to DECA by my classmate at the time, Laquita Perkins, and she really pulled me into class and said, Eric, can you take this class? Not knowing that this class really propelled and prepared me to be an entrepreneur today. So I'm talking to Miss Dewey. She's so excited to know what am I doing with my life now. So I said, well, Miss Dewey, I'm working, but I've also started this art business. She said, an art business? Tell me more about it. So I'm talking to her about it. She said, the t-shirt that you have on, did you do that? I said, yes, I did. And she said, oh my God, I love this. She said, can you come back? Can you come back and talk to my students? And I'm like, you want me to come back and talk to your students? Yes, I want you to tell them how successful you are in what you're doing. And I'm like, I didn't even think I was being successful because I was only three years into this. So I go home, pack up everything that I have, all of the t-shirts I've ever designed, um, jeans, anything I had on hand, and even pictures. So I go back to Woodland the next day, and I'm talking to class number one. You know, it's the beginning of the day, and then class two. And she wants me to stay and continue to talk to the rest of the classes. She was so excited. She said, hold on, I'm going to go down the hallway and get the FBLA class to come in here too. So it gets too big. We can't even fit in that one class. So we end up going down the hallway to the auditorium, where she asked the principal, hey, can we use the auditorium? Because we have a former student that I really want her to share her story and about how she started this cool business and I think it would be good for the students. So the auditorium now is half packed and I'm talking to all these kids that I've never met, never seen. But out of that whole group, there was one young lady that really clung to me and wanted to know more about this and she wanted to be on my team. So I welcomed her with open arms and she helped me. You know, she helped me uh, promote the business. She actually went with me on a couple of events, helped me sell some shirts even at the Classic um, for uh, the Alabama a and and, you know, um, the Hornets uh, game. So some years down the road, I still have communication with this young lady. And then she calls me one night with this really hurtful voice that she had and she wanted to share with me how she was contemplating suicide that was probably the hardest phone call conversation I've ever had in my life I didn't know really what to tell her but I asked God to help me to tell her what she needs because she's not going to leave here not like this and not now so as I begin to share with her you know encourage her not to leave this life because God had plans for her you know, I sent a card every day of the week that I can remember to her address to encourage her. Long story short, that young lady, she's still living to this day. So it wasn't so much about me airbrushing. It's about what I've chosen to do with the skill, with the gift of art that God has put into my life. That was Woodlawn High School back then. And look at Woodlawn High School now. I'm still doing this, and it's you guys, your encouragement that keeps motivating me and pushing me to keep doing this because it's more than just having a cool t-shirt made. This is ministry. This is about changing lives, and I'm so grateful to God, and I'm grateful to you to be your 1990 class representative to airbrush your t-shirts. Thank you so, so much for this opportunity. Again, y'all just don't know how much this means to me. I'm about to cry. <laughs> God is so good. Hey, I love you guys. Praying for you. Um, let's have a great year, um, a great opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to see each other. Um, I just want to say once again, thank you guys so much for the opportunity to help me continue to change the face of lives, one paint stroke, one line, and one color at a time. Hey, I'll see you guys. Alumni Week. Holla.